What does the Lake Travis shoreline and underwater cleanup do? It is a huge community effort. It started 20 years ago, so this is the 20th anniversary, and it's a collective of a thousand volunteers, um, divers and shoreline at 10 dive sites, 10 shoreline sites that are helping uh, clean the shoreline and, and underwater. The good thing about the drought, if there is one good thing, is it allows us to access parts of the lake and the shoreline that you can't when lake levels are high, which means we're able to collect trash from areas that, you know, we couldn't usually get 100 to. 100 years old. <laughs> right, exactly. And, um, you know, on average, at every cleanup, we collect about five tons of trash. God, year that's after a lot year, of trash. A lot of trash. Wow. Yeah. Um, I scuba certified nephew over here and we're just helping to clean up the lake out here. Um, do this as a hobby, not, not as a profession, but uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to come out and scuba dive and good excuse to get out here and pull bubbles and stuff. Excellent. Hey, what's the most interesting thing you've ever found down there? Uh, about that anchor your dad Yeah, uh, yeah it's got a couple years ago over my there, dad huh? found this eight foot uh, oh, long anchor and it was down around yeah. 50 feet okay. uh, from when they were above the dam. Wow, that's huge! It looked like an old Navy anchor. It was taller than I was, but... Uh, Amazing! Well, I'll let you get back to it. Good luck! Thanks. Thanks. Hey, well, what is the Colorado River Alliance, and uh, what does it do? Well, we're a nonprofit based here in Austin, Texas. Well, I guess we're in Lake Travis right now. But um, we're here to secure the vitality of the Texas Colorado River through education and advocacy. What effect has the drought had on the lake? It, it, it's had a tremendous impact. You know, our lake levels are extremely low right now in, in the 30% range. And that means that um, it, it's a real challenge for all of the users up and downstream that depend on it and for the environment to get all of the water that they need. So when you take a look out here at Lake Travis in particular, you know, the communities in this region have depended on this lake for tourism. And when lake levels are this low, you know, it, it has a huge impact on the local economy. Excellent. You look like you're working very hard. Yeah, this is actually my first day. Excellent. Yeah. Well, great job. Good luck. Thank you. This event, we became involved because the uh, community that started it in 1994 was a scuba diver. They needed access to dispose of some of the trash. And so they contacted Travis County and said, hey, can you help us with providing a trash barge? and access to your parks. So we have 10 shoreline parks um, that are involved in this event. Excellent, Anne. My last question, mm -hmm. it's a real hard one. Okay. Uh, what is the coolest thing you've ever seen pulled out of the lake? <laughs> the coolest thing that I've ever seen pulled out of the lake? You know, I'll have to think about that one. Uh, for me, I kind of deal with things on the back end. I know I never really get to hear about the unique items. I get to hear about the hard to dispose of items. <laughs> so I'm the one who they contact for disposing. Well, what was the hardest one to get rid of? Well, um, it's a little hard to get rid of like propane tanks Ooh. and batteries. They do Ooh. find batteries in this lake. And so I, I take care of that care of all the hard to get rid of disposal items like that the hazardous materials thank you so much and you be <laughs> careful welcome. with those propane tanks <laughs> all right thank Excellent. you so much thank you okay. all right can i get a quick status update from you of how the cleanup's going so far yeah today? so it's 9 45 right now which means we are 45 minutes into the cleanup our shoreline cleanups run for two hours so the folks that are on the shore collecting trash still have about an hour to go now our dive volunteers they only have enough air for an hours long dive they all jumped in around eight o'clock i'm sorry around nine o'clock so my guess is pretty soon now they're all going to be hopping back onto their boats loading up all of the trash and bringing it over here to the site we are now which is the lake travis marina um, to collect the trash out of their boats and haul it into a dumpster to be taken away. Excellent. How did you get involved with diving? Uh, started diving 39 years ago. It'll be 40 years in eight months. Excellent. How did you get involved with this event? I uh, decided it was time that we needed to show a little bit more stewardship with our lakes and take a little more care with these natural resources, take, clean things up. 
Yeah, so it's, it's uh, coming to the end here, which means that we've got about a thousand volunteers wrapping up at 20 different sites uh, around the river. The divers that were out are, are um, lugging up tons of bags of, or I shouldn't say tons, bags and bags of trash um, to be hauled away, and so are our shoreline, our shoreline volunteers. Wow, yes, and, and they're getting ready to change location. So while they're all spread apart right now at these different dive sites, they're going to gather together at the Oasis for our after party where we'll celebrate the tons of Excellent. trash that they've removed from from the lake. How yeah. capital. Could you tell me a little about the education that you do yeah. and that your organization does? Yeah, the Colorado River Alliance, we're here to secure the vitality of the Texas Colorado River. You know, it flows right through the center of Austin, which is where I live, and it's really the heart and soul of our city and of the hill country here. And our organization is committed to educating both youth and adults about the importance of this river. It's the source of our drinking water. Um, if, if you live in the city of Austin, your drinking water is pumped from the Colorado River. So we know that that if we can teach children that, it'll help them understand it and appreciate it and conserve it, as well as do things like participate in this cleanup, which is, allows us to keep our water flowing and also clean, which is what we need. Excellent. You know, that's yeah. what I'm all about, yeah. is education, especially the education of young people. Yep. We have to help educate everyone about the problems that uh, yep. we face and how to fix them. Yep. So thank you so much. Thank you. And I'll see you soon. Great to meet you.